This is long overdue. This is the Mionix Castor. Now, I've been waiting for this mouse for quite a long time. It was shipped to Vermont instead of here. So we were like, where is it? And they were like, we're going to ship another one. So they shipped another one to Vermont. And then finally they were like, oh, wrong address. So here it finally is. And this is a very simple, elegant, well-built mouse. And I think when you talk to the guys at Mionix, this is like, for them, the, the pinnacle mouse right here. This is the pinnacle of all the different ideas they have. They put it into one mouse and it's sort of maybe an everyman mouse that's really accurate and it's no nonsense. And I say it's an everyman mouse because it's not extremely large. It's 122.46 by 70.42 by 40.16 millimeters. That's 4.82 by 2.77 by 1.58 inches. And without the cable, it weighs 93.8 grams. With the cable, it's 141.5 grams. It's not a really long mouse. It's not a huge mouse, but it's also not a tiny mouse. It's somewhere in between palm and claw grip. It works really well for both. And the big thing for me on this is, you know, above and beyond just the design and the, and the build quality, uh, it's using the um, Pixart 3310 sensor. That's my favorite sensor. It's an optical infrared sensor laser is also optical so it's an infrared sensor now they're doing something a little different with this one they're using an arm processor to do doubling so they can achieve 10,000 dpi rather than 5,000 dpi which is what's native to the sensor now this is very similar to the avago um, 3090 it's slightly newer there's a there's newer sensors since then but those two are the really the two that are the most flawless and i haven't noticed any jitter any acceleration. I do think it's a little bit weird to be doing the, 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 you know, using the arm processor on the inside to double the DPI or the CPI or whatever. You know, 10,000, is anybody going to use that for anything? I don't know. It's up to you guys if you want to use it or not. All right, let's take a physical tour of the mouse. So on the right-hand side, it is a very right-handed mouse. Not very, but it's a, you know, pretty ergonomic right-handed mouse. We have a textured rubber area for your thumb, and then we've got two buttons right there. And uh, that's it. On the, as far as the side go, no buttons on the other side of the mouse. Nothing at all. And then we have our two clicks, Omron switches. Uh, in the middle, we have our scroll wheel. It's a scroll wheel. It doesn't feel too bad. It's not the best I've ever felt, but it's a, just a damn fine scroll wheel. Uh, you can depress it for a click. And behind that, there's another button. And that's pretty much it. The button, by default, is going to change uh, through your different CPI settings. But you can go into the software. Uh, change macros. You can make it do anything and make it open programs. You can set up different, uh, um, you know, different bindings for this. Rubberized coating. It's very comfortable. There's a slight indentation right here in this area for your ring finger and just a spot for your pinky. It's not as pronounced as some of the other mice out there in the market. Not even as pronounced as their own uh, Naos. Uh, not as pronounced as like the uh, the Funk mouse that's out on the market. I forgot the name. I forgot the exact model number. Not as pronounced as those, but just enough to give you a little bit more grip and that's nice so the cable is something that i'm not extremely fond of because as you saw it adds almost 50 grams of weight now you're not going to experience all that weight while you're playing your game most of it's going to be in the floor or somewhere else but the braided cables are heavy the braided cables can create drag on a cloth mat that's why I'm using the Mionix NS320 mat right here. This is an aluminum mat, so you don't get any, any uh, you know, drag from that. So it's going to be up to you how to manage this. Some people, they have the little devices that, you know, hold the, the cable like this and different things on the market. I'm not a fan of braided cables at all. I don't like them. All right, now you may notice there are some lights here. This is a full RGB, and it really does a good job of reproducing the colors. They picked a really nice uh, set of LEDs for the inside of this mouse. So you have 16.8 million colors there. Uh, it can do blinking, or pulsating, the breathing effects. Uh, we've got 128 kilobytes of onboard memory, so you can store some profiles on here and take this on the go. Not have to worry about the software and all that. Uh, USB cable, I didn't even mention how long it was. It's two meters and the tip of it is gold plated, which is better for multiple insertions if you're into that sort of thing with your mice. If you're gonna be carrying around going to parties, just play safe. I mean, I don't want this video to be too long. That's pretty much it. We can go and take a look at the software, but it's similar to if you've seen the Mionic software, it's very similar to all that. It's just decent, does the job. Uh, the main thing for me here is the sensor, the quality, uh, and the fact that there's no acceleration. This is a really good mouse for competitive FPS. I would like it much better with a non-braided cable, anything other than that. I, I think it's one step behind perhaps some of the um, Zoe stuff out on the market there because their stuff has, you know, the same if not, you know, the same if not similar um, 
features and functions, build quality is similar, except they do not use this braided cable, which I think takes it down just a tiny bit for competitive, competitive gaming. If you want just like a, a really, really accurate mouse that, um, you know, has probably one of the best build qualities I've seen. Also, you guys should see the box on this thing. The box has like, it's like an opening an Apple product. It's actually a little bit better than an Apple product. Anyway, the, the whole focus on build quality is there on this and it's just really comfortable. So that and uh, the price for such a simple mouse might be a bit high as well. So watch, I would watch for this on sale at around 50 bucks. I think it's amazing. Anyway, it's up to you guys. Let me know what you guys think of this mouse and uh, we'll see you guys in the comments. Click on all the stuff over on the side. Thanks everybody for picking up the album and uh, supporting us on Patreon and all that stuff over there. Just click on it, I'm done.